So it's vlog time, and I have lost count of how many weeks it's been. I want to say it's 12 weeks, and I'm just starting my 13th week, but I don't know. My weight loss has been a little iffy the last few weeks, um, so I'll explain that. But first, let me just introduce myself. My name is Tara. I live on Long Island. I'm 49 years old, and I am on a journey to be under 200 pounds by my 50th birthday, fit by 50. And I have three kids, two dogs, a cat and a husband and they're on this journey with me so as i was saying my weight loss has been a little sketchy i went up to i went back up to 3.0 on saxenda and i don't know what it is about saxenda but i don't lose weight at 3.0 and i'm not eating any more than normal it just as it makes me hold on to weight now it could just be that i'm one of those people that only loses weight two weeks out of the month because um, that seems to be my thing. And, um, I seem to be in that place right now, but, um, cause I am losing currently, but I am back down to 2.4. Also, it was making me so tired that I was sleeping during the day, but at 2.4, I slept during the day today too. So I don't know if that's, what's making me tired. And if that continues, cause that's new. If that continues, I may have to ask my regular doctor to do some blood work, make sure nothing is going on. It may not be related to the sex enda, but it could just be a side effect from the sex enda that's just hitting me now after all this time. So I did start losing weight last week. I lost like three pounds, but then I had a sweet 16 and my kids communion. So I didn't overeat. I was very careful, but no matter what you eat at those things, they're full of sodium. So I went up two of those pounds. I'm back down, so I'm fine with that. And I expected it because take out food, you know, like the food, like catering food, I mean, it's always full of tons of sodium. So I wasn't really expecting much, you know, I was expecting that. So hopefully I continue to lose the rest of the week. Um, cause this is my window and, um, I've been exercising. I've been doing a great job with exercising. And, uh, today I took a break because yesterday I'm doing whatever I can to add extra steps into my day. And yesterday I decided to walk to my friend's house and back instead of driving. It's a short walk, like a thousand steps. But on the way home, I fell really bad. Um, and I'm not in bad shape. I'm okay now. I have a lump on my elbow and, you know, I'm definitely banged up and bruised. But um, I can move. But I decided to take a one-day break because my back is a little sore. And I thought, well, let me just make sure it's all okay and just take one day off and make it easy for myself. Take an easy day. So that's what I did. I don't even have my watch on today. And I always wear my watch now. So one of the things I have noticed on this medication that I wanted to share with the people who actually watch my updates is the craving control. Now, this medication does a lot for me. It doesn't cure head hunger. There are still days where I battle with feeling hungry when I know I'm not actually hungry. But I have the ability now to say to myself, am I feeling it in my head or am I feeling it in my stomach? I, I've not had that ability or that much control in the past. You know, probably the medication, I don't know. But in the past, it wouldn't have mattered to me if it was head hunger or stomach hunger. Maybe now because I know I'm dieting. But I... But more importantly than that is the craving control. I'm not craving foods. You know, I'm not finishing my lunch going, ooh, I need some dessert now. Like, I'm not doing that. I'm not constantly craving sweets. And that's a lot for me. But even more importantly, so now I've had days where I can't really count calories because I have functions and things like that. And... The most important thing I've discovered, though, is that when I have those days where I am eating things that I can't really control or count calories because, like, I'm at a party or whatever it is, the next day, even that night, I'm able to get right back on the wagon and eat correctly. Um, you know, with the day of the communion, we had a big lunch, and I, I ate things I wanted to eat, um, and... That night I had a low-cal dinner um, and went on with my diet. And the same thing with the, um, the Sweet 16. That was dinner. I had a little piece of cake and I took the littlest piece of cake I could find. And that was that. And it was delicious and it was worth it. Oh my gosh, because I knew the girl who baked it and I was like, mmm. But anyway, her cakes are the best. So 
Her her company is called Stacy's Cakes. If you ever you're interested. Anyway, so I you know I'm able to get right back on the wagon and start working again. And I in the past it's been all or nothing. If I give up for a day and not that I give up but if I give in or if I can't control my food intake for a day I can't control it anymore at all I don't know I think there's a lot of all or nothing people out there um and actually they term it that too on on Noom which is pretty cool you know you get Noom for free if you are on Saxenda you get it for free for a year so I figured I might as well take that year and 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 do the Noom right and I find Noom very helpful, more so in the beginning than now, but it's still really helpful, kind of helps you organize some of your old way of thinking, you know? But that's to me, so I wanted to talk about that. I wanted that to be the subject of this conversation because um, I'm really impressed with that ability. That's a new strength. I don't know if it comes from the medication. It, you know, it may come from the craving control, you know, the cra the fact that I have cravings under control because of the medication, and that is definitely from the medication and the hormone regulation. Uh, but maybe because I have the cravings under control, that makes it easier to get right back on it, you know? I can't say for sure. I just know that I've been very successful this far. And even during the weeks where I'm not losing weight, because every month, the first two weeks, I lose nothing. Um, I shouldn't say that every month, but the second month and now this third month, I don't lose anything the first two weeks. Those are the hardest times to stay committed. And both months I stayed committed. So I feel really good about this so far. I think I can stay the course. I know I can stay the course. I think I will stay. I know I will stay the course. I need to do this. Like I'm just so ready. You know, when you're just ready, you're ready. And I, I do get frustrated and sometimes I wish like it was easier to eat. Not because, see, that's the thing. It's not because I miss the food so much because I could care less about the food. It's because it's just so much easier to be able to eat whenever, whatever you want. Um, you know, sometimes I'm making something for my kids like because we're in a rush and I make them mac and cheese. Well, I can't just eat mac and cheese. I just can't have that. I mean, I guess I could. I definitely can if I count the calories, but it's not worth it. I try to make my meals nutrient dense because I don't want if whatever I'm putting in my body I want it to work for me mac and cheese isn't going to do a whole hell of a lot for me and I'm just going to be hungry later so you know that's the inconvenience of it but like tonight we have baseball and after baseball we get Burger King well you know what Burger King I eat it I will have a whopper um, a whopper with cheese a junior whopper not a whopper whopper a junior whopper with cheese and you know what I do? I just take the bun off. It's really not that many calories without the bun. The bun is like 400 calories right there. So it really isn't a lot of calories and the sodium's high. Uh, and actually, I may not do it. I may actually eat at home before we go. Uh, just depends on how the rest of my day goes. But I do things like that. But like I said, sometimes I wish it were easier because sometimes I have to make different things because my kids want a fried chicken cutlet and I'm going to eat a plain chicken breast because I don't want to add calories that aren't nutrient dense and breadcrumbs and aren't nutrient dense. I mean, I could fry the, my chicken cutlet in oil because oil is, you know, olive oil is okay. Avocado oil, those are all okay. I don't mind using the calories for that because that's a healthy fat, but breadcrumbs is kind of a waste. But here's another interesting thing. So I have all sorts of goodies in my house right now because we have this party. We got beautiful party favor cookies. Actually, I just got some picture books I ordered from their communion. I'll show you the party favors. These are our party favors. This is by a cookie company called Joby's Cookies. J-O-B-E-E-S, Joby's Cookies. She ships all over. She's on Etsy and Facebook. You should check her out. Instagram too. Check her out. Her cookies, they not only are beautiful, but they taste great. And she's not sponsoring me. Neither is Stacy's Cakes. I just happen to love their stuff. Although Stacy did not make my kids communion cakes because their godmother is a great cake baker. But anyway... It's been amazing to me that I've not been super tempted by the food. I haven't been tempted at all. I did make one error in judgment. Um, and I call it that because I don't give myself a hard time if I eat something that's not good for me. Um, 
that's not healthy or calorie uh, nutrient dense. But I did make an error in judgment. I was taking things out of the microwave. We store a lot of stuff in the microwave, like cookies. Any fresh baked stuff is in the microwave until it's gone. And we take it out if we need to use the microwave. And I was taking it out to use the microwave yesterday. And I just, I just like blindly put a rainbow cookie in my mouth and ate it. Now, I went and added those calories to my my day so that I would know, you know, I wanted to make sure I noted that I ate that. And I was very honest with myself. But I ate it blindly. Now, then the next day, I actually chose to eat one because when I saw what the calories were, I thought, well, they were wor- it's worth it. It's a nice treat. And that just becomes my afternoon snack or my evening snack. Um, and But the first time I ate it, I ate it blindly without thinking about what I was doing. And that was the error in judgment. It's okay to eat whatever you want as long as you are accountable for it. And I was accountable for it, but I ate it blindly and that bothered me. But I'm going to make mistakes like that. I just have to always remember to stay aware of those mistakes I'm making and try and do differently the next time. So I will be live. I will be live. I'll make another vlog again next week. I'm a little late this week. I don't always um, get to do it exactly a week apart. But I do try and update you guys, especially on matters like these. I also wanted to let you guys know that I know I've talked a lot about... I've talked a lot about the ability to buy the medication overseas if you can't get your insurance to cover it, and the FDA has cracked down on that. So if you were buying from England, that's not going to be able to happen anymore because their pharmacists prescribe it. But there's a place called Mark's Pharmacy or something in Canada, Mark's something or other, and they can still ship it, but they have to have a prescription from your doctor. So as long as there's a prescription, you can get it, is what I'm being told. Um, otherwise the FDA is cracking down on it and, and you can't get a 90 day supply. You have to get like a 30 day supply, but I'm told that that works. So you can look into that. But if you came here and you had seen me, my comments about the buying it overseas at Burwash, I don't think you can buy it from Burwash anymore unless you send them your prescription. But even then I'm not sure you can. Anyway, I wish you all luck. I want to thank you all for joining and watching my journey. I appreciate all the support I'm getting. I'm up to 102 followers, subscribers, and that's like super cool. And my TikTok, I'm up to 40,000 followers. Um, call me Tara J on TikTok. And I'm also call me Tara J on Instagram. I'm up to 900 followers there. I'm really excited. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, have a wonderful day. And until next week.